Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and a good wherever you are. My name is JP, and welcome to our Brizzy channel, where we talk everything Brizzy and Brizzy and some more. In this video, we're going to talk about Lottie animations. We've had a number of requests a little bit to explain more about what Lottie is all about. And I've quickly made this mock-up for you. And I really want to stress the word quickly because it does go very quickly. And Lottie animations, there's the first one here, this arrow that keeps coming in, is an animated graphic. That means that it takes up less data than if you were to bring in a GIF or a video file. So the idea is to bring in a little bit of motion onto your page, but at the same time, not bloat your page and make it heavy and slow by keeping it small with these vector graphic animations. And that is what Lottie Files is. And then here on the right, if you haven't noticed, we have this woman feeding the dog. Great, pet food, Brandon. Actually, this is a starter site, one of the new starter sites that came out. I just quickly switched out this. I just added this in the image that was here. I switched it out with the Lottie one. And these are free ones. So let's talk about how they work. First of all, if you are not a graphic designer or a genius with Adobe After Effects and you don't know how to create Lottie files like me, then you're going to get them online for free. They are also premium ones. The number one place to go to is LottieFiles.com. That's where it all starts. I want to give you a warning here. I have incredible problems with this website, sometimes just to get to the place I need to be. At some points when I type in LottieFiles.com, it takes me to a total different page. I'm not sure what's going on with the cache settings or the redirection, but this is kind of where you want to go. You want to get to this place where you see products, integrations, and 95% of the time you should go here. Maybe you are one of the lucky ones that get here 100% of the time. At times, it takes you to the dashboard. And I just quickly clicked there on dashboard and it took me here. And this is where I ended up. And then you will get very confused as to where are those Lottie animations. And if you search for stuff up here, you're not going to find it. The workspace is where your stuff is stored. It's not where the library is. So if you want to try and find more stuff, you're going to have a problem. Two things I want to point out here, which the workspace is going to show you. Here on the left, you will see files uploaded. This is a free account. They don't give you more than this, nine out of 10. So those two arrows and these guys on the ladders that I've downloaded more than once, I've already spent my credits on that. If I delete the asset, let's go ahead and delete, you will see it goes down to eight. Second part is that if you land here and it says lottiefiles.com at the top and it's not clear where you need to go, just look here at the very bottom where it says free community animations and click on view more. And this should take you again to this page where you can go ahead and search for Lottie animations. Right, so you can either be here or you can be here. Let's go to this one and I'll search for click here and enter. What it's going to give you are free and pro options of click here animations that you can bring onto your website. Great ones. Note, many of them that's going to catch your eye like, oh, I like that. I like it. Like this one, it will say pro. You can check out the pro plans for Lottie Files and we'll talk a little bit about other resources that you can also go and look for Lottie Files if you have accounts with those platforms. But for now, let's go to the one that I used, and it was this first arrow. I'll click on that, and then it gives me which used to be the traditional workspace. From here, you would just get the link, et cetera, et cetera, but they've changed it. What I'm going to recommend is that you don't care about anything that happens here. What you need to do now is go up here to the top where it says download, and you will need to save it to that workspace, the one that I just showed you. You click and then it will save and only then can you work with it because it wants to add it to the workspace so it can limit you to 10 under the free account. And of course, if you need many, 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 many more, you go for a pro version and you can check that out. Once you click on that save to workspace, it's going to open a editable workspace where you can make changes here. And if you have a pro account, you're going to be able to make far more changes than what we can do in the free version. I think what is important here probably is only two things. One is the speed. You will see you have a button over here in which you can change the speed at which the animation occurs. But there's also a function for that within Brizzy 
So you can also work with the speed, the animation speed within Brizzy. The other one may be of importance over here. You see color palette, you can change it. This doesn't always work the way you would expect it to happen. For example, if I click on this one with the reds, yeah, I don't really see red. It's more orange and brown. Let's choose this very light one. Okay, yeah, that one has a better effect. So not always sure how the color palettes work. You can add a new one and, you know, add it there. Let's add another one. Click on that, change it to pink. And you can click then on save. And there is your color palette selected. And now we've created this color palette. Let's go back to the original. I'll click on reset here at the bottom. And this is all I want to do. Now, how do we bring this into Brizzy? Let's go into Brizzy. This is where it all started. And this is where we're moving towards. I will bring in a Lottie element. And that's how we bring in Lottie elements. Actually, there's another way, and I'll show you that as well. Click on Add Elements, and I'll search for Lottie, L-O-T-T-I-E. Click, hold, and drag it onto the page. I'll put it here below the button. Scroll down, I'll click on the Lottie element, and here you have your functions. And whenever you work with the element, all the options for that specific element in its functionality is here on the left. Select that. And let's see what we have here. Lottie link, Lottie file, renderer, autoplay, and I can read the rest for you, or you can read it. Most people are going to work with Lottie link, but I'll explain to you soon why Lottie file may be a better option if you really care about page speed. Renderer, I recommend you leave it on SVG. Autoplay means the Lottie will start playing by itself. Reverse, if you want to play it backwards instead of going forwards. And then loop. Like the arrow, you saw that arrow of mine kept going like that. The loop is good to draw attention, but maybe in some cases you don't want the loop. Then you just, you know, untoggle it here. The animation will play like that little coronavirus germ, and then it will stop. Loop, there it goes back on. And then you have speed. So let's make that virus go crazy. Yes, it's lockdown time, baby. And then we bring it down to a more manageable after vaccination. Right, and that's basically all the settings you have. What more can you ask for? I know a lot, right? But let's work with what we have. Go back to your Lottie workspace, and this is where we are currently on the workspace. The first one is the asset link. Now, again, here I make a mistake. This is not the workspace. This is the workspace. And this is where you can get pretty much lost if you don't know where is what. It used to be so much simpler. But because of the workspace, things have become a little bit more tricky. Here in the workspace, you go to this icon over here, hand off and embed and select that. Sometimes it will open here automatically, but many times it won't. Next, you actually have to enable asset link. Enable the link. And you're going to get a number of ways how you can embed it. Now you have versions here, which is going to say current version. Whoop de doo. Then you have Ascent Link Format, and you can only use this one. You cannot use these smaller ones. Why? Because you need to upgrade if you want to use those smaller ones. But look at the difference, right? From 4.1 kilobyte, which is minuscule, to 1.3. But if you really care about that three kilobytes, take out the dollars. And then we get to the Asset Link, and this is where we want to get our link from. Click here on the copy. Lottie JSON link copied, and we go back to Brizzy. And up here where it says Lottie link, select the current one and paste the new one. And bada bing, bada boom, there we go. It brings it in no problem. Now, from here on, you just style it out like you would normally do. I'll click on it again. You see, we have these handles, so I can resize it. And then I'm going to play around with the margin. So let's go to our settings and styling. And the margin, I'll take it to the top. Uh, yes, there we go. And I'll take it to the right. And I'll bring it in like so. If I put it in a column, it could be easier. Let me make that minus 200. See how that works. What is this percentage? Okay, let's do that. So good. So I'll put that on percentage that works. There we go. 
And that's how I achieved that one. Remember, remember to go to your responsive views, right? The other thing you can also do is probably just put it on absolute position, fixed position, and drag it to where you want. Oh, not, I always get confused. It's absolute I want. So here is the absolute. And I'll drag it, and then we'll have to just click on it one more time. And I'll just increase the spacing and then the horizontal, yes, horizontal offset and vertical offset. Ooh, slightly, slightly. I got a little bit of vertigo with that one. Let me just move it a little bit up again. There we go. You do that for all of these guys. And then you will also change it out for mobile. Same way. Hop on back to desktop. And now we talk about the second way you bring it in, and that's a JSON. JSON. Every time this page will load, it will request a link from Lottie Files. That often, that request may slow down your site a little bit. So the idea is often to get everything as much as possible within your site. Call it local, right? And that you can do by uploading the actual file. This you do, you go back to that area we were. And then up here, instead of the handoff and embed, which is this one, you go to this download and share option, edit, download and share, use these buttons here to carry out these functions. And I'll click on download and export. And you will see these guys are locked. They are recommended, but they are premium. So we click on this Lottie JSON file and I'll click on download. It's downloaded. I go back to Brizzy. Let's bring in another Lottie file, a Lottie element, so that we can see it for sure. I'll put this one over here. Click on it, and then go to Lottie file, click on the plus for upload, and select the animation. Great, and there you have it. Let's update this, preview it on the front end. Right, there we go. And then what I want to do is go and delete it in my dashboard so that we can see if I delete it from my workspace, whether it will still render here when people come to my site. Great bananas. Where is my dashboard? Let's go to Lottie Files. I'll click here, go to dashboard. Too many tabs. And then here, this is the one that I just brought in. So let's go ahead and delete asset. This asset will be removed. You won't be able to undo this. Delete. And we go back to Brizzy. Refresh the page. And they are still there. There's one more way you can do this if you're really into it. And that is to bring in the embed function. Let's close these two in the front. We go into Brizzy, into our builder. And we look for the embed element. EMBD, embed. Click, hold and drag, drop it. Now we're here, select it, select the options, and then you have to paste the HTML code here. Let's go find that one. And now you go again to the handoff and embed, select it, and then here, embed HTML. You click there on the copy, go back to Brizzy, and paste it. What you have now, though, is that you are going to lose functionality such as loop, reverse and speed when you embed and you have to set all of that within Lottie files the app over here it will take it from there so you lose that power let's delete this one and delete this one and then do one more so that you can see how we bring in that little puppy snack thing i was working on go back into Lottie files and let's select here pet food pet food pet food and that's how simple it is you're going to see again a number here that appears very nice. This guy feeding his turtle, stuffing it down his throat. And again, many of these are going to be pro, but I just think this one for pet food is awesome. Click on design skills and we go through the same process. First, you need to download it and then click on save to workspace to download. What an extra unnecessary step, right? It will open a new window for us and it will take us to the workspace. And then we go through this again. Your two options, you can either go ahead and generate the link with handoff and embed, 
select Enable Asset Link. Click under Asset Link on the copy. We go back into Brizzy. Bring in a Lottie element. Drop it here just above this picture. Select it. Go to the functions. Select the link and paste the new one. I'll delete this image and then I'll just make this one bigger. And if you need it bigger within the constraints, all I'll do is I'll go to my styling. I will connect my margins and I will go negative. That way I can make it bigger. And this is the great thing about vector rendering in animations is that I can make it as big as possible. It will still give me nice, sharp, crisp lines. Beautiful. There's so much more you can do with this. If I select it, remember, you also have the option to link. You have all the normal link options here, like blocks, pop-ups, files, URL, and then the latest edition also for pages. The colors, no, you probably only want to use this if you need a border for it or a shadow, but I wouldn't mess around with the background. Hmm, no, I guess I wouldn't. I say that, and the moment I do that, I think it doesn't look too bad. No. We don't want that, so let's go to none. LottieFiles.com, however, isn't the only place where you can get Lottie files. In fact, I'm pretty sure on Adobe, you're going to get in their stock market a lot of Lottie animations. If you have other subscriptions like on Envato Elements, you're probably going to get them as well. I'll go here, I'll search Lottie files arrows, and let's see what we get. I have an account here. This is, of course, Pro. There may be some free ones as well. Let's see. This is icons, icons. This is not Lottie animations. I did do Lottie earlier, and I think the Lottie ones you will find under video templates. There we go. So let's go and click on see more. See more. What are you doing here? I'll go ahead and I'll select this one. Arrow Lottie files. Download. Once it has downloaded, I'll open up and go into the zip file. You will see under this, we will have Arrows Lottie package and you have the Adobe After Effects. You have GIFs if you want to use that, JSON, Lottie, and even MP4s. What we want to do is go to the JSON and I'll just select Arrow 1. I'll drag it under my downloads out of the zip folder and then we go back to our Brizzy page. Let's see what we have here. I'll just want to make this small. So I'll bring in columns here. And then we look for a Lottie. Lottie, Lottie. Click, hold, and drag. Select it. And we upload the file, arrow one. And look at that. How beautiful can it get? Very beautiful. And again, you have to control over the speed, the loop, reverse, autoplay. And in this case, you'll probably look for an arrow that makes sense that you want to add to your page. That means Lottie Files not only restricted to LottieFiles.com, there are premium versions out there on many other platforms. If you Google a bit, you're going to find other platforms with free editions as well for Lottie Files. A great way to bring animation to your page and at the same time to keep the footprint of that page light. That brings us to the end of this tutorial. Hope it was useful. You learned a lot about Lottie, a lot about Lottie. And if you want to know more about all these tips and tricks, remember to subscribe because we're always just a click away. And go ahead and visit us today at brizzy.io. There's a lot happening in the world of Brizzy. From my side, JP, I'll see you in the next one.